Hey, good morning, YouTube. I want to start to talk to you guys about, again, my people. Uh, this is just a testimony or a situation that happened here in Houston, which I know it happened other places. But I just wanted to give you a synopsis from the clientele's perspective, point of view, and not just mine. Um, we have Monique, and she went to a stylist that started her locks. They use honey and a mixture of gels. Um, she just had a really, really extreme incident. Um, situation, and I'm going to let her explain it in a brief synopsis for herself. Well, I went and got my hair really tightened. She used honey and some kind of locking gel. And I was really concerned about the buzz because I know it's sweet and it has a smell to it. Um, but that wasn't the issue. The issue was the stickiness and the cakiness, and it just felt so nasty and yucky. And even till up until last week, it still had a, like a little sticky feeling to it, and it was very uncomfortable. Um, it did last, but that is not um, a mixture to use in your hair. It's really not good at all. Uh, when when it comes to certain products, I didn't I mean to put you on sorry. Mm -hmm. When it comes to certain products, yes, certain products will hold. Certain products will give you a certain amount of what you're looking for, but when it comes to that balance that I speak of before, it's not obtained. Um, just holding that hair, making it hard, making it crispy, I guarantee you, in a hairstyle where you have a bunch of shedded dead hair inside of, you will lose that hair over time. This is not something I'm telling you so you can find my way and use my way. You can find any healthy system that you really want. My whole thing is promotion to healthy, natural dreadlocks and hair. Honey, a lot of those gels from what they're made up of, uh, a lot of those hardeners from what they're made up of will not work. She also explained to me that with that gel,